Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up an Apple TV and AirPlay. Um, first I'm going to show you some of the tools that you need here. First you'll need an iPad, an HDMI cable to hook up to your Apple TV. Of course you'll need your Apple TV itself. And just taking a look inside the box here, you'll see the Apple TV greeting you as soon as you open the box. Uh, all the plugs in for it are on the back. Your HDMI cable will actually plug in almost right in the center there, right next to the power port. Also in the box is the remote. You want to make sure that you don't lose this remote at all because you're going to need it to either take your Apple TV out of standby or um, mess with the settings on the Apple TV. Underneath that you're going to find this power cord. And this end, the flat end, will plug into the back of the Apple TV right next to your HDMI port. I'm going to go ahead and plug both of these in now, and then I'll show you um, how to get this hooked up. We'll plug the power cord into the power strip or the wall. And then we'll plug our HDMI port into our television or our projector. And the first thing you'll see when your Apple TV powers up is the Apple logo. And it's going to go through some screens here. I'm going to kind of skip through this and go ahead so you can kind of see the screens that it goes through. It might take your Apple TV just a little bit longer uh, to get caught up where mine does. But when it does get set up, you're going to see this menu. Um, I'm going to click English because I'm in the North American area. And then it's going to ask for a Wi-Fi network. You can't do anything with your Apple TV unless you connect it to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and get mine set up here and enter in the password if your Wi-Fi is password protected. And then it's going to go through this connecting screen. And again, this takes a little bit, so I'm going to kind of speed through these screenshots here. Uh, it'll activate and then set your region. The region format is just for uh, content if you plan on you know, viewing videos and things like that. And you can choose to take part in sending anonymous statistics to Apple if you'd like. When it's all set up, you will see the home screen, which looks just like this here. I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to the settings. And I'm going to go down to AirPlay. And just take a look at some of the settings that are in here. Um, AirPlay is on by default. You can shut that off if you'd like. Um, the first thing you want to do is change the name of your Apple TV. And I'm just going to choose one of the options here to make this speed along a little bit so I can tell what it is. You can also set um, an on-screen code or uh, password that people have to enter to get on here. This is good if uh, there are a lot of other devices on your network and people won't be able to cut you off, but it's not necessary. So let's change over to our iPad here, and I'm going to show you how to access AirPlay. You'll take your finger and put it on the very bottom there and swipe up to get this menu, and this is called the Control Deck, I believe. And as you can see, I have a lot of Apple TVs in my district, so I'm going to go ahead and find Great Room. And when I click on it, it's automatically going to turn on mirroring, which is what we want. If you look at your Apple TV, you should see your Apple TV screen pop up here. And that's it. That's all you have to do to AirPlay. So now, let me just show you, kind of swiping back and forth here. Um, we'll go into the Apple Maps app and just have a look around and kind of see how it looks on the television screen. Once again, all apps um, will show exactly as they're supposed to on the screen. You can see the keyboard popping up as I'm typing in um, an address here. Let's just go to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. So you can kind of see that there. And we can exit out. Now let's take a look at how to get a YouTube video up here. And you can use the app, or I'm just going to go directly to YouTube.com. And we're going to get to my Mr. B YouTube channel. And if I click on the video here, it'll automatically open up the player. And everything that you see on my iPad just automatically shows up on here. And you'll hear the music coming out of the Apple TV as well. Turn up the volume there so you can hear it. And that's all you need to display a YouTube video. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, switch back to my iPad here and I'll show you how to turn off AirPlay. Um, you'll go to the control deck and you wanna go all the way up to the top and click on iPad to get your screen off of there. If you just turn off mirroring, your sound will go off too. I'll show you that again from the iPad here. Click on iPad and that'll turn AirPlay completely off. At this point, you're done. Um, if you want to force the Apple TV to go to sleep, you can just go into the settings and go to sleep now. Alright, thanks for watching.